Award season kicked off last night with the 77th annual Golden Globes. Yeah, there was a lot of history, laughter, and tears, of course, and plenty of politics. And joining us now to break it all down for us and go over the top highlights is our good friend, Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier. Good morning to you. Good to see you. DeMarco, how are you? And um, it was a great night last night, but can we start with the man of the hour? And that is Ricky Gervais. I mean, he came in with guns ablazing and he roasted everybody in the room that he could get his hands on. And you know what? That's what Ricky Gervais does. He um, walks up to the line and then he crosses it and everybody in the room may feel uncomfortable, but at home it plays oh so well because those are the kind of things that people sometimes want to say to those actors. So Ricky says that he is done. He won't be back again. If he wants to come back, I guarantee you the Hollywood Foreign Press will have him back. All right, now let's move on to some of the big winners. And um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was one of the big winners. Um, the big names, though, did not win except for Brad Pitt. It was great to see him win for Best Supporting Actor in a Drama. But when I talked to him on the red carpet, I asked him about the thing that everybody was talking about going into the Golden Globes. Okay, the obsession, the world, the internet, everyone is waiting. They're hoping for this moment where you and Jennifer run into each other so they can take their picture. I'll, I'll run into Jen. She's a good friend. Yeah. Yeah. So they can. So. <laughs> you know, you know how this yeah. goes. Excuse the second, me. the Excuse second most me. important reunion of, her, of, of, of her year. Yes, exactly. Yes, I understand. You know how that works. There's a play on friends, and then they were saying that, anyways. Congratulations to Brad. I am glad that he finally gets recognized for his work and not all the crazy distractions. Um, meanwhile, I might have had my all time favorite red carpet discovery. Cynthia Revo is uh, nominated, was nominated twice last night, but really the big win for her, well, it happened when we talked. This might be my favorite secret of all time. Yeah, there's candy and gummy beers and everything. As a matter of fact, I ate a gummy beer that was resting on. Spare underwear. There's a pair of spare underwear in here. That's right. Always? Why? Always. Because you never know what's going to happen. That's a great point. Men and ladies out there, always carry spare underwear. I love that tip. <laughs> uh, Jasmine and DeMarco, I just want to ask you, do you ever carry spare underwear? Because I love how she said it so well, matter of factly. Well, that's not something you would ever admit to, but uh, hey. Exactly. But well, you know what? We got to admit it today. But you know what? I, I think my getaway is just a gym bag. So that's the excuse. <laughs> ah, you keep yeah. an extra pair in a gym that's bag true. just in case you I need it. I have extra dresses. So I, I, I mean, I was, I was just, I was wild and floored by that. By the way, Cynthia is so good in the upcoming Aretha Franklin yeah. story, Genius. Wow. You got to check her out. We have a lot to she, watch. She is so talented. All right. Um, J-Lo, she didn't win last night. But you know what? We had a flashback on the red carpet that was pretty cool. Do you remember the last time you were here nominated? Yes. When? 22 years ago. For your greatest role ever. Selena. Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. Uh, it was, it was, it was 22 years ago. Yeah. And it was, uh, I can't believe I'm here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm still here. What would you tell that girl 22 years ago that was wandering on the carpet like, oh, I did this little movie, Selena. Who lost that day? Yeah. I would tell her, don't give up. Don't give up, keep going. It doesn't matter what happens tonight, you're still a winner. Mm, and you are. Don't make me cry. Shut up. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, I love Selena. I love that movie. Thank like you. That. I love that she flashed back at her moment and thought about it and took it all in and thought about how great her life has been. And even though she didn't win, she's winning. She has the Super Bowl, a wedding, all this stuff coming up. Can we talk about that dress? A lot of people are talking about yeah. that dress, that Dior dress. What did you think of it, Jasmine? Uh, it would look like a Christmas present. <laughs> well, I was like, I hope you be honest because she was just ripping the I dress. Was. Out, I'm Kevin. sorry. She's beautiful. I love J-Lo, but yeah. Well, maybe she was the gift that keeps on giving. I thought, you know, <laughs> listen. Good. It's, it was a, it was a, she was there for a movie of playing a stripper, so she came okay. covered up. <laughs> I thought J-Lo looked stunning. You she always does. You are this morning. I love this part of Kevin Kevin's Fraser so right good. here. I know. Kevin, so you know, we also want to talk about E.T.'s 10,000 yes. Milestone episode yes. this Friday. Oh, yay, Congratulations congrats. to you and the team. Tell us about it. Well, thank you. The folks from the Guinness Book of World Records will be here, and they are going to uh, give us a special little gift. And we're going to have so many cool surprises, including we're going to go hang out with Rod Stewart in London as he reminisces about E.T. Um, and the 10,000 episodes. And we have a special kind of exclusive look inside his home. Oprah's coming by. So many stars are coming through to shout us out. It is going to be wow. a great, great night.
And it has been a wonderful addition, of course, yeah. with the great Kevin Frazier, I, I must say. We must say. We want you back every morning. Yes, we do. <laughs> Can I come like, back every morning? Yes. <laughs> You're like, please, no. It was a late night. All right, good to see you, man. Thank you so much for coming on. We Always appreciate it. Always great talking to you. So I guess we walk away with strippers, hustling. Yeah, I I always know. keep a pair of extra yes. underwear, you know? And gummy bears. <laughs> and, gummy and gummy bears, bears. yeah. <laughs>